Happy holidays my damies, Topcat here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm wanting to look at our 180 hand cannons in both PvP and PvE, but particularly, why Bungie have you given us three void ones? The Seraph hand cannon was the first we could craft, but it was quickly overshadowed by the word of Crota inside Season 22. This has many god rolls and you could easily craft 4 plus versions of this. So why Bungie have you gone and given us the optative? Today I hope to answer this. If you find this vid at all helpful please smash that likes. I've crafted all of them with stability masterwork, small bore and accurized rounds. Which pretty much has them all sitting at around 30 meters range before damage drop off. And first we're going to take a look at the 7th Seraph hand cannon. A Kalos has a bunch of mid perks, all the good ones can roll on the other more superior hand cannons. If you were however to craft one, I would roll rapid hit with golden tricorn. We're only really concerned about tricorn times 1. This jumps our crits from 61 to 70 and makes for a 3 crit kill at 0.67 TTK. It's easy to chain with this and it's used much more like a better version of Rampage. Its origin trait is Rasputin's arsenal. When we break a target's shields, this partially reloads our magazine. It takes two to break a shield in PvP and it also returns two rounds on those breaks. It's not amazing, but it is handy as this does have the weakest stats of all our 180 voids. The optative is slightly better stat wise and it too has golden tricorn but it is so much stronger on the optative than the Arcalis for one reason. Void golden tricorn makes it a lot harder to get that ability kill generally or at least compared to that of our solar subclasses. The Arthurs and Brass can easily feed us one shot ability kills Solar Hunters can utilize Gambler's Dodge to feed us those knives on a regular occasion. And the permeability perk can change the affinity of the hand cannon. So now we can 2 crit kill in 0.46 seconds and even 3 tap body in 0.67 seconds. This hits at 67 a body. But as good as this is, it's a lot of legwork. Sometimes you just want a classic jeweler. 180's 3 crit, 1 body in 1 second. This is the same value as 120's which also do it in a 3 crit kill. The optative is alone in having the keep away perk. This really does push that performance of the hand cannon. It's so drastic you feel it the moment you equip it. This significantly increases reload, range and accuracy. And I really did find that accuracy bonus drag in my gun run. I really did enjoy it. And with Zen Moment, which again is unique over the Void 180s, it is really great. 180s do generally have great stability, but when we're causing damage with this weapon, this reduces that visual recoil, and more importantly, flinch whilst during a gunfight. These two together make it a very comfortable jeweler. But now I feel like I'm missing out on those similar TTKs that are often required when facing things like SMGs. So I tried Kill Clip, I love it on my Frontiers Cry, this hits 83 on crits and 55 on bodies, 2 crits and a body can kill in 0.67 seconds. And I feel this is often the best use of 180s. That first kill is always a bit more work, but after that you can kill chain in 6s fairly easily. So personally I feel the best optative is Kill Clip with Keep Away used in sixes. It's Origin Trait, Nano Munitions. This perk is dull. Honestly, I wouldn't really give it much of a second thought at all. It gives you ammo when the weapon runs out of ammo. But in Crucer, you never really try and get yourself in this situation. I'm always constantly reloading, ready for that next gunfight. In four hours of gameplay with this gun, I only once saw the perk active. So we're going to take a look at the Word of Crota now. It has better base stats than the others. Precision Instrument doesn't increase the TTK, so don't bother with it on this hand cannon model. Sword Logic is the tits. It's tiered up to 3 times and it casts for 10 seconds. It can hit 82, so it's like kill clip damage, but it works much like Rampage. And even with Sword Logic times 2, it hits 73 a crit, giving us that 6-7 TTK. 
and that's still available for 8 seconds and the timer resets on kills. For the first perk you could go Killing Wind. It's undoubtedly a great kill chain perk giving us 50 mobility, 40 handling, 20 range. Me however I chose Enlightened Action. I prefer this as it gives us both reload and handling up to 50 as the gunfight is proceeding. So land the bullet's going to give you more handling, more reload, another bullet, more handling, more reload, so forth, so on. So it's just constantly buffing during the fight, not after you've won the fight. The origin trait is great, giving you that curse thrill explosion after you get a melee kill. But I would have to say this hand cannon works much better in PvE. There are three great roles I wanted to try crafting. Demolitionist is always a favourite of mine as I am a complete ability whore. Pair this together with Adrenaline Junkie and you'll have nade spam up the wazoo. This gives you that 33% damage buff easily and repeatably. I really enjoy using it with my nothing manacles myself, but this would really work with any grenade based exotic though. Being able to spam out those grenades, we like using Echo of Undermining Fragment so we can weaken spam with my many nades. However, when I'm on my Titan, I love using the combo of the stabilizing rounds, shoot and kill to spread out that purple goo, and repulsive brace will give me the overshields when I'm killing them. I use the second chance exotic gauntlets so I can throw out more purple aids. This is granted to us through that controlled demolition aspect. Now with the crota, I can easily have a full time overshield. For the Hunter, go Falcons. this gives us easy access to volatile rounds for our void weapons. Stack that with Enhanced Dragonfly and Enhanced Destabilizing Rounds, and we have great air clear from the safety of the shadows. That Curse Rule Origin trait really does do air clear quite well, and stacks that OE damage. And being unstop hand cannons this season, I think it's a great pick for Season of the Wish. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, don't forget to smash that thumbs. If, if you haven't crafted the Arcalis yet, don't bother. If I could pick just one Octative, I would be going for that Keep Away Kill Clip. Word of Crota though, it's a hard one to nail down on just one roll. I've currently got three and I'm probably going to craft a fourth. I hope this helps, happy holidays my damies and until next time, tippy tie.